Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to perform an independent samples t-test for equal variance in R. Now let's say we want to compare, we have two samples uh, to representing two populations. Uh, in my uh, data file here we're going to be using uh, body temperatures of men and women and make a comparison to see if there's a significant difference between body temperature in men and women. So this means that these are unpaired or independent samples, so uh, the correct t-test is an independent samples unpaired t-test. As with all the statistical tests, we have a null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the population means of men and women in this case here are equal, uh, and the alternative hypothesis is that the population means of men, body temperature in men and women are not equal in this case here. I'm going to run this test at an alpha value of 0 0.05. So let's take a look at the data uh, uh, before we go any further. So the data file is called 86datafile.csv. This CSV file, plus all R scripts and all other uh, sample files used in this series of videos, are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let me read this file in and store it in a vector called body temp, and then display the contents of body temp. I'm just going to scroll up to the top here so we can look at the head of it. We can see we've got just two variables in this data file and we have temperatures in degrees centigrade of men and women. We have 64 men and 62 women. So we need to watch out uh, uh, sometimes for uh, null values like this uh, coming in. But we're going to be okay for that in this video here. But in other circumstances, really, really watch out for NAs in your data set. So we've got um, our... our um, uh, data read in and because we want to conduct a, a uh, independent samples t-test I'm first of all going to check for normality okay so I'm going to use the Shapiro test to do this Shapiro.test open and close brackets and I'm going to do the body temp for men first and let me run that uh, we get a p-value of 0.3974, which uh, tells us that uh, this, this value is greater than uh, an alpha value, say, of 0 0.05. Uh, therefore, the data are normal. Let's go ahead and do the same then for women. Shapiro.test, and then body temp. Donner sign women in this case here. Run the test for that. And we can see that it's not quite as clear, but we have a p-value of 0 0.077. Uh, therefore, this is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, we all uh, we 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 also uh, indicate that this indicates that our data are normally distributed. So both samples are normally distributed. Therefore, um, a t-test is the suitable test to compare their sample means. Um, I also want to test for inequality of variance because uh, we need to establish this and if the variances are equal we use one set of formulae but if the variances are unequal we use a slightly different set of formulae to calculate the t-statistic. So I want to establish using the var.test function um, if the variances are equal or not. So body temp, body temp, let's pick this up from our studio, dollar sign men and do the same then for body temp dollar sign women. Okay, so this is going to compare the variances of both sets of data. So I run this and we can see that we get a an F statistic of 1.61743, but most and most importantly we have a p-value in this case here of 0 0.5579. This is greater than our alpha value of 0 0.05 and therefore um, our variances are equal. So the null hypothesis in this case would be that the variances are equal and with this p-value we fail to reject that null hypothesis. So now we know our data are normal and our variances are equal, and that then gives us enough information to run the t-test. Now the function to run a t-test is called t.test. So when you have this, when you want to learn a little bit more about t-tests, uh, go to the help section in our studio on the bottom right-hand side and type in t-test into the search bar and you'll get some information on students' t-tests, uh, description, usage, and arguments and examples and so on that you can use in this test. If you haven't used it before, it's always uh, advisable to go and read up about the, this function in our, in our studio's help section. So in the t-test then, I need to tell uh, or a few things uh, uh, to test first of all. So for straight away, of course, we need the, the two variables. So I want to put in body temp, dollar sign, uh, men first. 
capital P there, just make that a small p, dollar sign, min, comma, body temp, dollar sign, women. Okay, so this will do a simple comparison between the two. But we, uh, we need to tell um, the t-test function whether this is a, an independent samples, unpaired, or a dependent samples t-test. And we also have to inform it about the equality of variance. So I'm going to go down to the next line here, put in a comma and go down to the next line. Uh, we can see in our uh, null and alternative hypothesis that it is a two-tailed test, so we need to indicate that. So alternative is equal to, and in inverted commas, uh, type in two-sided, two dot S-I-D-E-D. -E so be careful with the uh, spellings in this one here. Again, I don't need to, but I'm going to put a comma in here and move down to the next line just for clarity. And I'm going to indicate whether the uh, this is a t-test for paired or unpaired data that's dependent or independent samples data. So the parameter is paired. And in my case here, uh, this is not a paired t-test. This is an uh, unpaired t-test. So therefore, I need to indicate that uh, the, with the paired parameter that this is a false value and again I don't need to go down to the next line but I'm just doing it for readability here and the equality of variance is determined also by a true false value so the parameter is called var dot equals and in my case here true because we worked out um, using the var dot test that the variances were equal so quick recap here the function name is t dot test we're comparing the body temperatures, of, uh, body temperatures of men and women, the means of those. The alternative parameter here tells us whether it's a, it's a one-sided or two-sided test. Um, our, this is not a paired test, so we, we indicate that paired equals false. If it was a paired test, we'd say paired equals true here. And our equality of variance is determined uh, previously using the var.test function. So I used the var.equal parameter here uh, to tell us that the uh, variance is equal. So let's run this. And we get quite a bit of output appearing. Now, in order to interpret this, um, uh, we need to go into a lot of details, which is beyond the scope of this video. But very, very quickly, the first things we need to look at are we have our T statistic, uh, which is highlighted here in the console, is equal to minus 2.0295. Um, the degrees of freedom, this is important for our reporting the results of our t-test, the report degrees of freedom are 124. And really, really importantly here is our p-value. And the p-value in this instance is 0 0.04455 or 0 .0, 0 0.045 rounded for reporting purposes. Now this p-value here is slightly below the, our alpha value that we previously set, um, but this is a binary black and white decision. So if my p-value is less than the alpha value, I reject the null hypothesis. So to go back to my hypothesis at the top here, uh, I have sufficient evidence here to reject that statement that the population means are equal in favor of the alternative hypothesis that the population means are not equal. So in other words, I have found here that there is a significant difference at, an alpha, at, an, at a significant level of 5%, 95% uh, from, taken from the alpha value of 0 0.05, I have found that there is a significant difference between the body temperatures of men and women in the samples that I have used here. We've also got some confidence intervals, so uh, we have 95% confidence interval here with these two values are telling us that we would be 90% 5% confident that the uh, t-statistic for the population would lie between these two values. And we're also getting the means reported there as well. So quite a lot of information in the output um, that uh, you can be very, very useful for writing up your report for your t-test. So that's how you conduct a t-test uh, for independent samples or unpaired data in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.